Jade here, back with a few fundamental tips for beginners on left hand technique. Um, I'm a big fan of left hand technique. Um, it's something I'm definitely working on myself as I get a little bit better and I get speed up. But here are my favorite beginner friendly left hand exercises. So we're gonna start with um, all downstroke quarter notes. This is about 80 beats per minute if you like to work with a metronome, um, and I do because my rhythm is trash. <laughs> oh, without it. So we're going to start with quarter notes, and we're going to start with our first finger on the first fret of the, uh, of the G string. And you really want to lean in to the purity of the note. You want to hear it ring. You don't want to hear any buzzing going on. You want to hear it ringing and you want to do that across all the strings. When you're practicing this, be sure to hit each string um, at least four to six times. I'm just for time's sake not going to do that. Then we move on with our first finger to the second fret um, of each string G, D, A, E. And we want that to be just as pure of a note as possible. We want that baby to ring forever. I'm super blessed to have a mandolin with really great low end that will ring forever if I just if I just let it go. To do is take our middle finger and cover the third fret all the way across. Now slide your middle finger up one fret to the fourth fret. So we've covered four frets so far. You can even go backwards if you want to. Take your ring finger on the fifth fret, and when you're you when you're stretching farther, if you have smaller hands like I do, you're going to want to not plant your thumb in one place the entire time. You're going to want that thumb to be movable. Try real hard not to move your uh, first and second fingers too much, because then they're going to have to move back where they're supposed to go. But if you can move your thumb independently as you stretch, it can be a super helpful, a super helpful thing to do. So here we go, fifth fret, third finger. We're gonna go on the sixth fret with the third finger. Finally, we're gonna go on the seventh fret with your pinky finger. No, God, please, no, no! I know, hear me out, using your pinky can be one of the best things that you ever do. What you don't want to do is to train your hand unbalanced. And it already kind of starts out that way because you don't generally use your pinky for strength in a lot of everyday activities. But when it comes to mandolin, you're going to want to train all of your fingers the same and you're going to want to go only as fast as this pinky can go because you get into some dangerous territory when you start to get strength and speed on only three fingers and we want use of all four so here we go um There's no shame in looking at your fretboard. I get told all the time by my teacher, stop looking elsewhere, look at your fretboard. So you see where your fingers are and it forms that mind muscle connection. Oh, yep, this is where I gotta be, 100%. Okay, my next exercise is um, a little bit of a finger twister. Um, 
maybe a finger stretcher if not you're not really used to it. So you're gonna wanna grab the second fret with your first finger. The fourth fret with your second finger. Fifth fret with your ring finger. And your pinky on fret seven. And I want you to do that on all the strings. It's not a scale, it's a finger exercise, so don't worry about how weird it sounds. So that is the minor version. The major version um, is frets 2, 4, 6, and 7. Backwards. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do those same exercises, but we're going to do different pick directions. Instead of just straight uh, quarter note downs, we're going to do down up eighth notes. They're twice as fast, um, so be prepared. Our next portion, we're going to start out with eighth notes. We're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Do that on all the strings, just the same way that we did with quarter notes. Do it on all the fingers, and then we're ready to proceed to the exercise. And with eighth notes, try four per note. and then go back down. So try these out to see if they work. Um, I've had really good success with them and then I have some intermediate versions available um, that I will post on my Patreon later. So if you guys aren't subscribers already, please go give me a subscribe on there. Um, like and subscribe to this YouTube video for more mandolin content.